collected ones in a row, or if I'm missing something completely obvious to everybody else. Huh. But I contacted the manufacturer and they gave me some trouble to the tips, and I don't think it worked. It's still usable, I just can't really use the high death function to get it through the video. Right. The main thing now is that I have nothing to upload onto, so. Yeah, that makes, uh, that makes it a challenge. It'd be kind of cool if there was a device that you could put the, um, it's an SD card, sorry, I thought it was SIM, but the SD card into, and, or the memory card. It'd be cool if you could just, like, have that device directly be responsible for sending it into YouTube. Yeah, right? Cloud. And I guess, like, an Android tablet could do it. I don't think apples can take the adapters. Uh, what if my phone can you have an Android? Yeah. yeah, your phone can do it. You said to download an app? Nope. Uh, those MP4 files are directly on the SD card. So you go to YouTube and you locate the SD card, the file. And you send it into YouTube. Granted, you have to have to tolerate the slow upload speed of wherever you are. So basically you have to lose your upload capacity for other things. But that doesn't affect download. Right, yeah. Yeah, give it a shot. I've tried it one time with a tablet. I would say they're from the blast. That's way too many trees down. And they planted, I think, over five million new trees after the, uh, about a year afterwards. Yeah. So they did a, cause it destroyed, I think, $14 billion worth of timber, commercial timber. So what made you decide to uh, come join us? You offered. Yeah? Because <laughs> she was like, well, if nobody else wants it, I can ask my uh, cousin Judah. So I'm like, all right. Yeah. So I guess. Until that one time. Until that one time when it's your last time ever. Yeah, that's, uh, you ever seen the series I Shouldn't Be Alive? No. That's... Is that the premise I, of it? Oh, I watched so many of those, and a lot of them, they go on like these... Like, oh, let's go up this steep alpine wall at noon. 
and they're like in the Swiss Alps, you know, so they go to the Matterhorn. Oh, well, we got ropes. And they get stuck on a ledge inside of a storm. And one guy died. The other one, at night, in the middle of a storm, lost his footing and fell like 500 feet and was caught by his rope right into the void. So, and he, he was alive to speak about it, but his friend not. He didn't have his hands anymore, or his feet. Did he have what? Permanent injury, I guess that is. Yeah, yeah, pretty permanent. No hands or feet? Yeah, you should watch that, man. It's just people who don't let anybody know where they have gone. They aren't prepared. They're egotistic, overconfident. And uh, that gets you killed. Another way of saying only the paranoid survive. If you look at those squirrels and chipmunks, they don't ever sit still, just staring off and meditating. They're always checking for hawks, running at the sound of any, or running at any sound. Yeah. So, yeah. Here we are. Hang out with them and climb a mountain and have the day off. That's a pretty good combo. So, did you have to take the day off for that? Oh, no, I didn't. It's actually part of my natural weekend. Nice. The weekend before last, I was up on Mount Eleanor and I discovered. That's like Lasodding. A little bit, depends on, like I didn't see any ice up there. Uh, I suppose it's the end of the season, right? Yeah. But when I got up there, snow, right at the summit, we saw everything. We saw, you know, Puget Sound. And then, uh, storm rolls in. And then, uh, snow. And then my hands started freezing. Like within five minutes, my hands were just aching. So I got myself some really good gloves this time, not these, but uh, things that can withstand like 30 degrees below. Paid a hundred dollars for those stupid gloves. But now I know I can get through some other crap. I always think of what I endured in Minnesota. I think, you know, if that didn't kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah. And we were <laughs> like I had uh, some layered sweaters and a, a trench coat. That was the, my chosen style. Oh wow. Time we were walking through. And by the time we got to the library, I couldn't feel my feet all the way up to my ankles. Oh wow. And so, yeah, that's real bad. Twenty minutes of the library was just trying to resuscitate my feet. And then they start tingling like nobody's business. Doing good back there? 